Nicolas Charles Pron, UNICEF's regionale vertegenwoordiger in Guyana en Suriname, heeft een beleefdheidsbezoek gebracht aan president Chandrika Persat Santoki. Op donderdag 15 april 2021 is op het kabinet van de president uitvoerig gesproken om de samenwerking te intensiveren tussen UNICEF en de Surinaamse regering. UNICEF representative for Guyana and Suriname and special representative to CARICOM. I visited uh, the president with my team um, which is based here in Paramaribo, uh, Mr. Patrick Matala who is the program manager for Suriname and Ms. Mahogany Mead who is the communications officer. The purpose of my visit with the president was to congratulate him on his personal engagement uh, with children in Suriname and uh, we've been very impressed in UNICEF with the way the president has personally uh, committed to the realization, the full realization of children's rights in Suriname and is committed uh, with his government to make sure that uh, children's rights are realized everywhere in Suriname, even in the most remote areas where the most vulnerable populations are. Well, UNICEF is the United Nations entity in charge of uh, uh, the welfare and the well-being of children. And it's very important to us to see that there is commitment at the highest level possible in Suriname towards the realization of child rights. So we, we've discussed um, various areas, health, education, uh, just to make sure that children have access to the best possible services, especially at a time right now when there is the COVID-19 crisis. And we want to make sure that once the crisis is, all, that children are not affected by the crisis so much and that when the crisis is over, that they get back to a bigger, better, stronger, healthier future for all children in Suriname. Right now, uh, 2021 is the last year of implementation of the current country program of cooperation between Suriname and UNICEF. But it's not sad, it's also the year when we prepare the next country program of cooperation, which will span from 2022 to 2026. So I was seeking the president's guidance as to what his priorities for children are in, for the next five to six years. And I'm also consulting with uh, the various line ministries. I will meet with the Minister of Education, uh, the minister, I've met with the Minister of Health, uh, the Minister of Social Services and all the line ministries to identify which priority areas we should focus on in partnership with the government, our UN sister agencies, other United Nations entities, various donors, to make sure that our efforts are uh, generate synergies towards the realization of children's rights in Suriname. Okay. I've been impressed even before I started coming to Suriname. I was following uh, what the president was doing uh, during uh, World's Children's Day last November in 2020 and I can tell you that uh, where I was sitting, I was actually sitting in New York, I was very impressed to see how much time the president took of his own agenda to discuss and listen to children. It's very important that we listen to children because they know what is best for them and we often think as adults that we should tell children what to do but the children are the leaders of tomorrow. And as I was telling to the president today, it's a child today that will sit in his seat in a few years from now. So it's very important that we take the actions today to ensure that every little boy, every little girl has the best possible path ahead of them in life. And that's why I wanted to congratulate the president uh, on, the, on his personal engagement and also seek his guidance as to what we should focus on for the future. I am looking forward to working with all partners and keep working. This is just not a one-off, as I was telling to the president. Uh, we met today, but I'm sure we'll meet again and, and we will uh, engage with all the partners, civil society, 
government ministries, non-governmental agencies, various international partners, to all join forces together to make sure that we build a better, brighter, safer, healthier future for children in Suriname.